What's all this? My extra special super duper with a cherry on top dance routine. The one that's gonna beat the big bitty city dance team in this year's dance off. It looks, um, uh, complicated? You better believe it. Every year, the Big Bitty City dancers pull off a super complicated routine. But this routine will top them all. Uh, but Plum, the dance-off is only a week away. All this? Yeah, I don't know. Learn this dance? All in one week? We have to. Let me remind you what we're up against. In case you've forgotten the humiliation, the shame, the disappointment of last year's dance-off. <laughs> well, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I remember having a lot of fun. If you call losing fun. They're great! Splendid! I can't wait to see what they do this year. Whose side are you on? Oh, Plum, I think the important thing is that we have a good time and do our best. That's what I'm talking about! Our best, our perfectest. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, perfectest is not a real word, but you might say our perfect best. Well, that's what I am saying then. Our perfect best. We will win. This year, we dance perfect. Perfectly. Perfectly. Thank you, Blueberry. I'm glad you all agree. This is gonna be our year. The year Berry Bitty City takes the dance-off prize. But we can't dance that perfect. Lee, Plum. Oh, we will. Just watch me. <clears throat> Music, please. like the dance we did last year. Exactly. We lost last year. Ooh, but the outfits I designed were gorgeous. And I did a triple pirouette. Everyone in the audience cheered for us. It was spectacular. Do you see what's on that shelf? There isn't anything on this shelf. Except dust. Do you know what should be here? Uh. A dusting cloth? Uh, no! A dance-off trophy! Plum, I can see how important this is to you. And we're your friends, so you know we're going to do our very best to win that prize. Huh. Thank you, Strawberry. Finally, somebody understands. What's going on? What's this all about, Strawberry? Yeah, what's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that, the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin, but then they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked! The plants were saved but only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. 
And so we celebrate the Glimmer Berry Gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait, that's, that's, that's my design. That's right. And I drew one just like it. Hey, me too. So did I. We all did. I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then, then, I accused you all of copying me when you didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kind of, sort of, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> Let's, Let's do it! Do it. Come Let's on! Do it. Come, Come on, everybody! I thought the theme was technology in fashion, not monotony in fashion. I'm sure they're just ironing out some glitches. Ironing? Fashion? Close? <laughs> Funny, huh? No. Um, excuse me. Sour? Sweet? We have a problem we think that you could help us with. We're wondering if you could take over from me in the fashion show and be our models? <gasps> oh, we're so flattered. Yes. W hold up. Why would anyone want to look at me? Sour, you're gorgeous. Well, of course you would say that. You look just like me. Well, you also have personal flair. I don't. You do. You have more. That's silly. Everyone will be looking at you instead of me. Won't. Well, girls, only one of you will be on stage at a time. We have so much to do by tomorrow. Please, there's no time for arguments. There's always time for arguments. Like jelly beans. You can't have just one. Come on, Sour. It'll be fun. Oh. Okay. Thank you so much for thinking of us, Strawberry. Are you sure this moody hair thing is gonna work? Wow. It really does work. I'm impressed, Lemon. <sighs> is, um... Something wrong, Sour? Sweet's hair looks better than mine. Oh, I think I get it. Sour's hair is green with envy. <laughs> Trust me, Sour. If both your hairstyles are fabulous, it'll be just as much my reputation as yours. Now remember, girls, the fashion webcast is tonight, so you'll have to keep your moodies on for the rest of the day. Moodies? Oh, that's cute, Lemon. I'll see you at rehearsal in half an hour. We'll be there. What's with you and this we thing? We're twins. Huh, not if I can help it. Hi, Orange. You look nice today. Sweet! <gasps> Sour! So do you! Wow! Are those Lemon's moody hair pieces? She calls them moodies. Aren't they the best? She's so talented. Oh, is that what talent is? Who knew? We need to pick up a few things for the cafe. Happy to help. Uh, then help me understand why there's no whole wheat flour in this whole joint. Oh, uh... Huh? Apple, wow, you're really going to town. The first part of assembling a tent is to lay out all your equipment in a neat and orderly manner. I'm so sorry, but this is the spot where we usually build the campfire. It is? And we set up all our sleeping bags just over there. 
And our cooking equipment here, near the campfire. Can I help you move your set over to the edge of the meadow? That's okay, Strawberry. I want to keep it in a certain order, so I'll do it myself. You guys go ahead. Don't mind me. in the very bitty world has happened to Orange, Cherry, and Plum. Maybe they got smart and went home. Sour. So, where's the marshmallows? I've got my stick. Let's get roasting. That's for after dinner. And we can't start dinner until we find the other girls. I'll go back down the trail and look for them, Strawberry. Thanks, sweet. I'll come with you. <gasps> Cherry! Plum! Orange! Where have you been? Are you all right? So sorry, Strawberry. Long story. You wouldn't even believe it. Jadybug, did a package come into the post office back there for Berry Can Bloom? It's definitely one of these. Oh, watch out! Oh! Oh. oh, here it is. Well, do you think it's the vacation brochure you've been waiting for? Uh, well, you see. You must be so excited. Finally going on a vacation. Well, actually, uh, I'm not going. You aren't? Well, I decided it was more important to buy these special berry seeds. So I can't afford a vacation just now. These new berry plants will really do great things for the berry works and everyone in Berry Bitty City. Oh, but Berry can bloom. You gave up your vacation last year to sit with my sick petunias. And the year before that to help bring in the berry harvest. <sighs> Maybe next year. Well, I'd better get these seeds into pots. Wait, don't you want to see the new issue of Berry Bitty World Traveler? Oh, I'll, uh... Take a look when I'm closer to taking the vacation. Works too hard, that bloom. Not good for a berry can. And five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> together, stay together. <laughs> On the beat. On the beat. <laughs> <laughs> stop! Stop! Please! You've got it all wrong! No! That is not the way my dance is! <clears throat> it's just about time for the dance-off, everyone!
think? I think it's amazing! A skirt that's a video screen? Congratulations, Raspberry. What a brilliant invention. Thanks, Strawberry. Apple, can we jump online? Berry in the know is almost over. It's the Fashion Talk webcast we're doing this fashion show for. Oh! Mavis Maraschino here, thanking you for keeping your peepers glued to this episode of Barry in the Know, the Barry Bitty Fashion World's go to show to know what's nouveau, you know? <laughs> Don't forget our technology and fashion contest taking place tomorrow. <gasps> We have some spectacularly intriguing entries coming in from all over the Berry Bitty world. But the entry that's really frilling my frock is from Berry Bitty City and those fabulous fashionistas Lemon Meringue and Ra Ra Raspberry Tort. Don't forget to be ready to text in your votes for your favorite techno fashion. Until then, Mavis Maraschino reminding you to ask yourselves, are you Barry in the know? Well, I was just taking a little rest stop with Orange and Plum, just minding our own business, not bothering us all, when all of a sudden... <gasps> But suddenly, Orange ran out of tree! Plum and I had to think fast. She stuck a perfect ten landing. <laughs> How did you ever get the backpack back? Oh, yeah, we uh, made a trade with the bird. Orange's almond for my backpack. You mean there's not going to be any shaved almonds for my s'more than s'mores? Come on, is that what really made you late? No, it's not. <gasps> Cherry's just trying to cover up for me. The truth is, it was all my fault. It was the canteen of chocolate milk. <laughs> Like she said, we was about halfway up the trace, resting her dogs for a spell. Hey now, Plum, ain't that for strawberries, hot chocolate? We're meant to save that for around the campfire. Ah, oh, dang nabbit, y'all are right. Must be off my rocker. Then I up and recollected I'd been hankering to show the gals a new dance routine I'd been working on. Now, look here. Might come in handy next time we're high stepping at a square dance. <gasps> Sizzling sassafras! Oh, flusteration. It went down a critter hole. Boy, howdy. We're in for it now. That strawberry's hot chocolate. Gotta get it back. We're with you, partner. Brisk up, gals. Here goes the nothing. So, Fico, we clumb down into that fire hole. Hold your horses now. Where'd that canteen get to? By all rights, should be right here. <gasps> Wait, Orange, your can stacking. It gives me an idea. What? Maybe we need to share ideas instead of doing it all alone. Maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit. <laughs> the highest fruit tower in very many world. Yeah, and after you win, we can eat it. You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest highest souffle idea gives me an idea too. Maybe I'll try a poofiest highest hairdo. Oh boy, that's terrific. Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it. What about...
out a dress with the most stitches. I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry. I'm using it. And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and uh, backwards and, well, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Raspberry. See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've got it! All our worries are over! Welcome, everyone, to the annual Very Bitty City Dance-Off. Featuring the Big Bitty City Dancers versus the Very Bitty City Dancers. <laughs> Our distinguished panel of judges will decide the winners. First up, the Big Bitty City Dancers. dance by the Big Bitty City Dancers. And now for a short intermission before the Very Bitty City Dancers begin. Raspberry! Just a minute, Strawberry. Aha! Found it. What's all this? Well, I'm finishing up my winter fashions. It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original, one of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> Down a hole without a coil. And then we heard something that made us wish we was anywhere but there. <gasps> hey now, that canteen is iron, Buster. Kind of hand it over real friendly like. Wouldn't you know it? That critter was skittish as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Well, now the hair's in the butter. After that varmint! Easy now, boy. Easy. Keep him in the corral. Now, don't get his dander up. I'm gonna... He's on the prod, Plum. You best up lively. And I leapt up on him. Never have you seen such a catawumpus. Yeah! Ride him, Plum! Stick to your saddle. Right in the end! Get him! tell you, it was a rip snorting ride. That varmint threw me and was about to head for the high horizon. We could see we had just as much a chance taking our loop back as catching a weasel asleep. But we made a fair shake in the end. What do you think there, partner? <laughs> That's okay, big fella. We love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> so... No almond shavings for my s'more than s'mores? <laughs> Come on. What really made you late? 
Okay, okay, here's the deal. Uh, it was really, uh, really all my fault. The truth is... I put it to you, Orange. Might that be the very almond intended for sweet s'more than s'mores recipe? What? Why, indeed it is. Oh, whatever was I thinking, I shall squirrel it away, as they say, until an appropriate occasion calls forth the necessity to bring it out in the open. Hey, what? Well said, Orange. Well said. Uh -huh. <gasps> I beg your pardon? Is that polite? Cheeky fellow, eh, what? I say, fellow travellers, let's tarry no longer in this dreadful spot. Off we go! Beg pardon? Run! I must confess, I read like the very dickens. And who wouldn't, being chivied by a fiend, set on Pelonian Sweet's precious almond? The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Oh. Not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way! A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke! It's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh, my. Hmm, I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrykin. No telling how far this is going to spread. Oh, tragic. Very sad. What can be done? I'd better see the other patients. The judge is around the corner. Oh, keep poofing. Rang. Are you in there? Oh, oh, I'll be right there! <gasps> huh? Oh no, wait! I'm sure I can get it as poofy as it was! Uh, poofier even! Miss Meringue, she has other girls she needs to see. You're right. It wouldn't be fair. Hm? I've never seen anything like this. Well, what do you think? I think you better stop, Miss Plum. <gasps> oh, well. I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. Now, now, it's best not to exert yourself, my dear. <laughs> oh, no. You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh! Oops. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry is doing. Yes, I'm sure we will. Everybody would love to hear it again. 
I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Very Bitty City. Come on, you two can help. And now for our second group of dancers from your very own Very Bitty City, the Very Bitty City Dancers! Uh-oh. 